Her Excellency Martha Novakova, Minister of Industry and Trade of Czech Republic, distinguished ministers from Czech Republic and India, captains of industry from Czech Republic and India, ladies and gentlemen, Dobri Vichar, and good evening to all. <laughs> I am delighted to address the India-Czech Business Forum. I am happy to see enthusiastic participation from both sides in our engagement today. We have members from the Czech Chambers of Commerce and the Czech Association of Medium and Small Enterprises in the gathering. From India, we have a 50-member delegation representing the Federation of Indian Chambers of Commerce and industry, the Confederation of Indian Industry, the PST Chamber of Commerce and Industry, and the Trade Promotion Council of India with us. I warmly welcome all of you. Your strong presence here is indeed a signature of the trust that you place in the India-Czech business cooperation. I understand you have had a fruitful day of engagement I am hopeful that our economic ties will get a boost from your business deliberations today. India and the Czech Republic are two ancient civilizations. There was a flourishing trade in spices between India and the Kingdom of Bohemia as early as the 9th century. The Czechoslovak consulate opened in Bombay in 1920, even before India's independence. The Bata Shoe Company was founded in this country, but its widespread presence in India compels us to consider it our own. Such early and rich history of engagement can only inspire us to be more optimistic of the future of India-Czech trade and investment relations. Today, I had meaningful discussions with President Jeman on taking forward India-Czech multifaceted relations with a special emphasis on our economic ties. We are both convinced that there is immense potential to take the relationship to a higher level. We consider the Czech Republic as a leading economic partner. India's growth story and Czech technological expertise and manufacturing prowess make the two natural partners. India is the fastest growing major economy in the world with a growth rate of 8.2% last quarter. We have undertaken an ambitious plan to build next generation infrastructure including smart cities, airports, high speed trains, highways and cyber connectivity. There is a rapid growth in construction of national highways and there are ambitious plans to develop more than 100 rivers as national waterways. These open up immense opportunities for our international partners. We have also undertaken bold reforms to boost our manufacturing sector and make in India initiative. A major reform is the introduction of goods and services tax. This has fulfilled the dreams of 1.3 billion Indians to have one nation, one tax, and one market for the first time. Both the central and state governments have undertaken measures to make it easier for businesses to be established in India. These reforms have helped India jump 42 places in the World Bank Ease of Doing Business Index. Our business-friendly policy has allowed foreign direct investment worth US dollars 60 billion to flow into the country in 2016-17. India has recently become the sixth largest economy in the world and is poised to be a $5 trillion economy by 2025. The Indian growth and demand complemented with a large consumer market offer huge business opportunities and scope for investment. Our flagship programs, including 
स्वच्छ भारत दैट इज क्लीन इंडिया स्किल इंडिया मेक इन इंडिया एंड डिजिटल इंडिया ऑफर इमेंस प्रोस्पेक्ट ऑफ फॉर चेक कंपनीज टू ज्वाइन द इंडियन ग्रोथ स्टोरी आवर इकोनमीज हैव सिग्निफिकेंट कॉम्प्लीमेंट्रीज विच कैन बी लीवरेस्ट फॉर म्यूचुअली बेनिफिशियल कॉपरेशन इंडियन कंपनीज हैव अचीव्ड एक्सपर्टीज इन द फील्ड्स ऑफ आई टी इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर फार्मास्यूटिकल्स ऑटोमोबल्स एंड सर्विसेस इंडिया ऑफर्स मार्केट फॉर स्केलिंग अप स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ चेक कंपनीज इन हैवी इंजीनियरिंग डिफेंस एडवांस मैन्युफैक्चरिंग ऑटोमोटिव एंड एनर्जी फील्ड्स आई ऑल्सो सी अ लॉट ऑफ स्कोप फॉर इंडिया इंडियन एंड चेक कंपनीज टू एंगेज इन न्यू एज टेक्नोलॉजीज एंड ज्वाइन हैंड्स टू रीप द बेनिफिट्स ऑफ द फोर्थ इंडस्ट्रियल रेवोल्यूशन डिफेंस सेक्टर हैज बीन अ वाइटल एरिया ऑफ कॉपरेशन बिटवीन द टू कंट्रीज डिफेंस प्रोडक्शन इन इंडिया हैज बीन ओपन फॉर द प्राइवेट सेक्टर टू पार्टिसिपेट आवर डिफेंस रिक्वायरमेंट्स आर ह्यूज इंडियन कंपनीज आर लुकिंग एट चेक डिफेंस मेजर्स टू पार्टनर दैम आई इन्वाइट चेक डिफेंस कंपनीज टू कम इन्वेस्ट एंड मैन्युफैक्चर इन इंडिया major indian companies have invested in the czech republic in sectors like it vehicles tea textile pharmaceutical and auto components czech investments in india are present in the machinery transportation power and automotive sectors czech auto brand skoda is doing very well in india and we are happy that they have announced new plans to expand their production with an investment of us dollars 1 billion the investment by czech majors in make in india initiative is a reaffirmation of the immense promise of indo czech relationship from bata to skoda the story of india czech partnership has been defined by popular embrace sustainable practices and high business confidence we encourage check enterprises to remain invested in the indian growth story india check bilateral trade at us dollars 1.07 billion does not really reflect our true potential there is a need to redouble our efforts from our side our commerce and industry minister will lead a business delegation next month to co-chair the joint india czech economic commission to be held in prague i am sure the commission meeting will generate new ideas to give a boost to our bilateral trade and diversify our economic linkages another area which we must always consider is participation in each other's fairs and exhibitions India's participation as a partner country in the prestigious MSV International Engineering Expo in Brno uh, last October reciprocated by Czech Republic's participation as a partner country in the International Engineering Sourcing Show in Chennai this year has resulted in new business openings for the two sites entertainment is another growing area of economic engagement a number of indian and bollywood films have been shot in the czech republic this has led to increased tourist flow from india to this country ladies and gentlemen soon on 2nd october this year we will be launching our worldwide celebrations of the 150th birthday of mahatma gandhi the father of our nation i am given to understand that the government of czech republic would be issuing commemorative postal stamps to mark the occasion i thank them for this special gesture the indian economy is a dynamic story we urge you to explore initiate and expand your footprint in india indian companies are also keen to invest and establish new business tie ups here 
I invite you to partner us in India's exciting and transformative journey, which is going to usher in a new era, not just for India and the Czech Republic, but for the entire world. Dukui Vam. Thank you. <laughs>